Welcome to Machina Arcana, the cooperative horror steampunk board game. Machina Arcana is a cooperative game for 1 to 4 players, with playtime ranging from 1 to 4 hours depending on the scenario. Each player takes on the role of an explorer, whose job it is to explore an ancient subterranean complex of unknown origin. Each of these explorers will have unique skills and other stats that will help to guide them along their journey, but it won't be enough. This is a dangerous career, and the potential for injury and fatality is more of a job requirement than a suggested skill. Monsters of Lovecraftian mythos will erupt from the darkness to prey upon the explorers, looking to engage in some flirtatious banter in a quick bite. The host of monsters is wide, ranging from the spawn of Cthulhu to the Moon Beast. Low-level monsters like Bopoth will be easier to pick off, while a god being like Ron Tagoth will be cause for flight. Monsters are drawn from a predetermined deck of cards, depending on the monster level shown on the chapter board, which adds higher tier monsters as threat increases. The explorers will attempt to make their way through a labyrinth of map tiles, where monsters will spawn, eager to gnaw their freshly stripped bones. In order to destroy these powerful monsters, the explorers will require assistance. This assistance comes in the form of items. There are consumables, artifacts, apparel, and different weapons that the explorers can equip. These items offer better armor, higher attack power, and other helpful upgrades. For example, this service fryness lowers the stamina cost for some actions. Scattered throughout the map tiles are various landmarks such as workbenches, chests, pits, and more. Players will activate chests to gain the aforementioned equipment, which may or may not be helpful in pushing a monster into another landmark type, such as an exploding barrel. The game comes with a few scenarios for you and your friends to be massacred in, the first of these being Horror in the Ice. During these scenarios, players will embark upon a series of chapter cards that must be successfully completed in order to reach the endgame. If along the journey, one of your compatriots falls to the mythos, they aren't left out of the game, but return to gain control of the monsters, encouraging the living explorers to find solace in death as well. But monsters aren't the only thing explorers will have to worry about. Throughout the game, horror cards will be drawn, which assist the monsters in providing as much misery to the explorers as possible. Machina Arcana is balanced so that you can adjust the difficulty levels depending on the experience of the given players. Helpful boxes are scattered throughout the rulebook that offer variants to alter the game experience, allowing for quicker games, easier games, and more. Machina Arcana is played in rounds, with four phases in each round. The Explorer phase, the Spawn phase, the Horror phase, and the Monster phase. In the Explorer phase, players will use their Explorer's stamina to move about the map tiles, destroy monsters, and activate certain action tiles. In the Spawn phase, each player rolls a die, which determines whether or not monsters will spawn. If spawned, monsters are drawn from the deck of pre-constructed monster cards. In the Horror phase, another die is rolled to determine if a card is drawn, this time from the Horror deck. Some of these events will grant skills to monsters and other nefarious actions. In the monster phase, the monsters within the monster queue will take their turns, using their stamina to stomp on the hopes and dreams of the explorers. This concludes our video on Machina Arcana. Thanks for watching.